and away they go. They've jumped away from that 1,200-metre uh, mark. Dreamland got out well as one of the early leaders, followed by Pinch Hit, and just outside of them as Fast Duties, a couple of lengths off the leader as they homeward bound. Moolah Man is further back in the field, and Mescal and the Blue Cap to the inside, then came back to Basics. They six or seven lengths off the leader. Super Awesome is further back, and Twice the Storm is about seven or eight lengths off the leader as they travel through the 700 meter area. Dreamland has ripped away, has got about four lengths ahead. In second is Fast Duty. They followed by Pinch It behind that. Mescal is further back in the field. Moolah Man, they seven or eight lengths off the leader. Super Awesome is racing behind that. Back to Basics is further back as well. But it's Dreamland, the leader, who's still clear by about three or four lengths. Fast Duty, Mescal is trying to close in as well. Super Awesome behind that. It's still Dreamland now coming on well as Super Awesome. And Super Awesome's now come through to pick it up. It's Super Awesome in front front into the closing stages and Super Awesome's won a dreamland behind that then came back in third twice the storm and they were followed by Mescal. You'll notice that it's Dreamland. There you go, with a purple cap on. is a good few lengths clear, but now running on is Super Awesome, who starts to pick it up into the closing stages and runs on well. It's in the stride cap, right to, trying to get alongside between, goes through well, picks it up, and is going to win this, the running of race number six. So we've got the last double to come at the Vol. Races seven and eight for the moment. We'll hand you back to the studio. So Super Awesome has come away to win race six, was uh, threatening menacingly behind the fast pace set by Dreamland. And it, it's a case with this gentleman of when, not if he's going to have a winner on the day. That's how well you're riding at the moment. So keep it going. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, Nico. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard, obviously, to be bullish with your chances all the time. Uh, didn't look like I had a strong end today. And obviously, after raffles, obviously didn't get a good start. I thought I was in trouble with my rides. And... This boy, I did expect, when I opened the card, I did expect him to be a massive runner, but it was hard to be bullish from the draw eight. But he's just uh, matured with the racing, and uh, his first two runs, it looked like he was a slight tear away. Mm. But uh, he's lucky the pace was really genuine. Even I had him behind the horses. He was eager to pick it up the whole time. So, But he's maturing nicely, and he got the job done quite well. I thought, even though he overraced at the wrong time, he got the, the job done quite well. Yeah, that burst of acceleration late powered him home really nicely. And if he, you know, if a horse accelerates like that, he's got a future. Definitely, yeah. Nicole. Yeah. Uh, I've got to thank Mr. Williams for supporting the yard. And uh, I know a little bit quite three weeks, but also the tracks haven't been great. So can't also gallop the horses also. Just waiting for the bigger, strong horses to come out. Hopefully the rains come soon. But well done to the yard and nice to be back in the winner's box. Just on a personal note, yeah. um, you know, with this, chase of the championship and yeah. trying to ride as many winners as possible yeah. hard to find time with your family yeah. and your kids and that but you know i follow you on on your social media and it's great when you publish those pictures of just having that quiet time the much needed time with your family that means a lot to keep your your life whole yes i know you do understand it's not a great family life as a jockey when you travel all the time and take strain on it and uh but uh, like you said to his it's nice to have those day or two off. You know, in South Africa, we can race seven days a week all the whole year except for Christmas. So it does put a toll, but we work hard on the track and off the track. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Congratulations. Uh, any, can we see you in any of the last two? I, th I thought this was probably my last best. Uh, the last race uh, is just a little bit of form. I'm just hoping we can run in the places. Okay. Tomorrow's another day. Thank you very much. Thank I want to thank uh, Casey for coming through, settling up. She was waiting patiently for a winner. <laughs> so thank you for the patience. And to Mr. Magna, well prepared. Thank you. Thanks so much. Let's uh, call in Casey Boerter to the winner's box. But before we do that, well done to Stone Stamcor, who are Musa Yeni's uh, sponsors. He just wanted to thank them too. Congratulations. I know you, you might have expected a winner earlier than this race now. Yeah, Raffles today, you know, I think he had a bit of an issue with the handle holding him and oh, it's back to the drawing board, but you know. He'll be back. Um, this horse, very nice horse, just maturing late. Uh, his win was good with Gavin Lorena. I think he won by three. Um, his penultimate run, which was his post maiden, was a good run, just interfered with badly. So, yeah, I don't think he won out of terms today. Nice win. And his distance, his preferred distance? 
I think 12 is probably the right tree to bark up at this point of time. Um, he does tend to over race a little bit. The play between a thousand and a 12, I'm sure. But well done to Ashley Williams. He brought us a lot of horses from Cape Town and on the sale. So, yes. yeah, I think it's colours that you're going to see lots of, hopefully. Yeah, and good colours as well. Nice to commentate on because they're quite striking, nice and bold. Yeah, they're very neat as well. They look they look nice in the winner's circle. Yeah, they do indeed. <laughs> well, well done, Casey. Congratulations. Here is uh, Roy Magnus, 5,000 rand courtesy of Betway. That's excellent uh, for uh, Roy, who's not here today, obviously. No, I'm doing duty today. Okay. Congratulations. All the best. Thank you so much, Nico. That's Casey. And representing the Roy Magnus stable, well done to her and well done to the team surrounding Super Awesome. Has gone on to beat Dreamland back in second and then twice the Storm and behind that Mescal. Just to correct an earlier point I made regarding Back to Basics, uh, he actually wasn't sold in an online sale but was sold privately um, and Nick Burt is kind enough to, to message me just a moment ago saying that he sold it from one of his clients to another one of his clients that was interested in, on an agreed price. So there we go. That settles the scene regarding back to basics. That's race six. Two more to come. Race seven. It's up next.